Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Baker and welcome to This Is What I'm Talking About. Today I'm talking about some deep fried snacks, some deep fried vegetables right out of my garden actually. I originally was going to do this on a stove top with just a regular frying pan or oil, but then I remembered I have an electric deep fryer so I'm going to give this a try. I've never used that before so here we go again. Okay, we're going to start out our batter, we're going to use a tempura batter. some of the powder mix in here. And instead of water, I'm going to use cream soda. Some nice ice cold cream soda to mix it up with. The reason I'm using cream soda instead of water, a couple different reasons. One of the reasons it'll aerate it and hopefully give it a little bit of a more of a crispy batter when you're deep frying. And also It'll add a little bit of a sweetness flavor to it. I've done this before and it really, really works out much better than water. And also to the batter, once we get it all mixed up here. Also going to add some panko breadcrumbs. The panko breadcrumbs are the Japanese real, real fine breadcrumbs. So hopefully this is going to give it a nice little coating. Never actually used it, used the panko with the batter before, so I'm not sure how this is going to take or come out, but it's going to be good. With the exception, I've got an avocado slice here that I'm going to try to do a deep fry on this also. And with the exception of that, everything else I've got zucchinis, onions, uh, green tomatoes, and potatoes. All of those were picked right out of my garden about an hour ago. So, I've got my oil heated about 350, 360. See what kind of consistency we get here. I'm going to save the uh, green tomatoes to last, and I'll tell you that, I'll tell you why I should say once we get to that point. Put a couple of these small zucchinis in here. Batter them, batter them real good here, and drop it in and see what we get. Get a couple of those. I gotta say, I've had this deep fryer forever, I guess. I've never used it. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Instead of onion rings, I'm going to do what I'll call onion bites. Give you an idea of what I'm, what I'm actually putting in there right now. onion bites back I'm even going to cut those down a little bit. Probably should add a little bit more soda to this because it's pretty thick and it's hard to coat here. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to do that. Here too thick. Mm. The longer it sets, the thicker it gets. That's one thing you'll find out that I didn't know. Let your batter just sit around, it just turns into concrete. Alright, see if that's, yeah, well, yeah, that's working better. Looks like the zucchinis are pretty close to being done already. Hmm. 
problem with doing this is kind of messy. Oh, yeah, I think we're actually, we actually are good. Zoops are looking pretty good. A couple of the onions in there. Let's do, uh, I'm going to try these couple avocado slices. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I just love avocado, so I'm going to give it a shot. Like I said, I've got my oil heated about 350, 360, according to the package directions. I'm going to do a couple of potato slices. Got the potatoes sliced about silver dollar size. Maybe poker chip size. Poker chip, yeah, chip, about chip size. I can call them chips of potato. That's unique, huh? In fact, if I can find something to put them in, like a box or a bag. Oh, plastic bag. Yeah, plastic bag. I'll have to check on the internet to see if anybody's doing it yet, but I could market them as a Bags of potato chips. I don't think anybody else is doing that yet, are they? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm a little nuts. Looks like the onion bites are just about done, too. Looks like 350, 360 is just about ideal temperature for doing these. It only takes, what, two, three minutes for each one. Just kind of get them turned around. Onion bites are out. I'm only doing a couple, couple of each one of these for the time constraints here. I'm going to pull. Actually, I think those are going to work out pretty darn good. I'm going to try a couple of the potato slices just by themselves. We're not going to we're not going to batter those. Like I say, we're just going to make try to make a few potato chips. See how it comes out here. The reason I did the green tomatoes the last, a little bit more again, we'll start to get thick, thickened up again. The green tomatoes have a tendency to be really acidy, have a lot of acid in them. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of sugar to the batter to cut down the acidity. Make it just a little bit more sweet, a little bit more palatable. Imagine that, huh? Alright, we got the sugar mixed in with the batter here. That should help out the green tomatoes. working out really good. So, we've got two different types of tomatoes here. I've got a beef steak. We'll try that one. I've 
I've also got one called Mr. Stripey. I can't wait for these things to mature. It's supposed to be like a, an orange skin with red horizontal stripes, or red vertical stripes, I should say. The picture looks really cool. Hopefully that's what they actually look like. Give you time constraints. These, that's all I'm going to do for this. That is ready. you would put more of these on a plate, but like I said, due to the time constraints, we're going with just a couple of each. Ooh, these fried green tomatoes are looking mighty fine. I think you're going to like this one, folks. Folks, what do you think? I'm thinking it's looking pretty darn good to myself. Whoops. So we have some deep fried zucchini, some potato chips, deep fried onions, deep fried avocado, deep fried green tomatoes. I'm going to take a bite of the green tomato. That was freaking delicious. Using the uh, using the cream soda makes it a little bit crispier and just a slightly sweet taste. Well, that's fabulous. Hope you enjoyed this one, folks. Make these up. These are these are really good. Keep the recipes coming. <clears throat> I'm going to tell my friends, family, and neighbors. Les say les bon temps brûlés. Let the good times roll. Till next time, I'm getting ready to eat me some deep fried snacks, and that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>